Yo, what's going on YouTube? A-Train here with A-Train Productions. I'm making this video because I'm a gamer. I love video games. And I'm really excited about the new Cyberpunk 2077. I believe it's coming out March 16th next year. Uh, it's made by Project Red Studios, which are the developers for The Witcher 3 as well. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, let's watch a little gameplay. So. You all right? Let's do this. You won't give out this shit. Certainly looks great. Okay. What now? Johnny. You bagged? I don't know what's going on, but it looks nuts. Where are we? Our BBS, Data Fortress. Bridge to the deep net. Whoa. Yeah, the game looks great. It's like visually we pleasing. Are, are no borders. Beyond the black wall. It looks so badass. Welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 2019 Deep Dive video. In last year's gameplay reveal, we showed you our vision for the world of Cyberpunk 2077, its quests, and visual design. This year, we'd like to give... Yo, this game looks too good. Honestly, like, I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, this is so exciting. It's like give you a peek at some of the play styles you'll be able to finally, adopt man, as your finally progresses through the story. Your developer that puts You're about time and effort into its game. Two distinct approaches <laughs> to playing <laughs> cyber. <laughs> we'll show you a strong solo build. That is a character who focuses on employing blunt force and taking instant action. And a netrunner build, a play style taking frequent advantage of stealth tactics, hacking and battlefield control achieved using malicious software. Additionally, you'll learn more about Pacifica, one of the game's districts. Two gangs, the Animals and the Voodoo Boys. And you'll see glimpses of Johnny Silverhand, the digital construct who haunts our main yeah, character V. A word of caution. Given that the video covers a section of the game Dude, deep this into the main story, we've edited the footage to contain as few spoilers as possible. Great. Be aware that the gameplay like, as presented be does reveal characters and locations so much you hype. see while playing the game's main story. I mean, it's got to be great. So watch it's got to be everything discretion. people expect, and then and then some, I guess. They're gonna they're gonna have to. Where are we headed? I have faith. This way. Complete faith in Project Red. In this video, you'll experience a segment of a quest from the middle of the game. We're currently in Pacifica, one of Night City's six unique districts. No Pacifica with? Nah. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. It was designed to be a tourist hotspot within the city. As you can see, this didn't pan out. When uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. It's one of those places where expectations and reality collided, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Ongoing gang wars plague this part of the city. Outsiders don't come here. Dude, that don't have to. Even by Night City standards, it's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. Taking a casual stroll here would not be a good idea. A fast motorbike or armor-plated car would be the safer option. Sounds it. 
but places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start your search. The Grand oh, Imperial dude, Mall so is a whole sweet. other story. It was one of the Hold last up. developments in Pacifica. Hold up, I gotta back up for a sec. I think that's so sick. Hold on. But places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start your search. Dude. This screen right here. Gear, character, map, quests, level, credits. Wow, dude. Stats. So sick, dude. And each, it looks like each, like, piece of clothing has resistance, too. Oh my god. The Grand Love Imperial it. Mall is a whole Love other it. story. It was one of the last developments in Pacifica to lose its funding. Until recently, it stood vacant. But now a gang called the Animals has moved in for reasons unknown. Something's not going right for the big guy up top. And that's what we need to learn in order to earn the trust of the Voodoo Boys, the Animals' rivals. What the hell? Could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in now. Of the many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077, the Voodoo Boys are the most skilled at using the net. I've now seen the Grizzle Hogway on Subnet. Why? What for? You are my vessel now. Do Hogway, I see what you see, hear what you hear. This mysterious gang of highly skilled netrunners has close ties to the local Haitian community. You are V? We have been waiting. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. I just love now how detailed it is. Effectively rules Pacifica. Everything is so detailed. The Voodoo Boys don't usually it's work amazing. with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Hansen, you said you got murk work needs to do. Honestly, so sick. That is so good. I love how much detail they put into their games. Uh, every game developer should do this. I won't mention any names. But there's some games that were very disappointing the past few years. And they could have been much better. Especially if they just took their time and effort. And, you know, put it into the game instead of trying to cash grab everybody and you know money money grab but uh either way totally excited about this game um i'll leave the link in the description if you want to watch the rest of the video i'm gonna call it here though because i've seen enough for me to love this game already and uh, i can't wait for it to come out but uh yeah let me know what you think down below if you're excited to you know play the game um if you have any other games that you're looking at let me know let's talk but yeah, I'm going to be doing a couple gaming videos here and there. I also have a music series, which is Breaking Through the Underground, where I expose five artists. Uh, you're going to find all different types of music on there. So definitely check that out if you're into music. Otherwise, yeah, thanks for joining me. Peace.